So the question then is, do I head down here and fall down these pits and hope I can sort out what Shrine of the Glutton is talking about? Because I don't remember. And I think I shall while I'm here. Now we turn this way. Whoa, too far. Past here. Then up and around. Straight down this way. Over here. Okay. Then we can drop down any of these, which will injure ourselves. Ah, uh, I hate that. Wait, seriously? You are now over encumbered. <laughs> of course you are. Um Shrine of the Glutton. Do I need to just put a bunch of food? I do need to just put a bunch of food. Nice. Oh, hey there. Let's get into a hallway where I can't be flanked on two sides. I also need to learn some spells so that I can attack from a distance. I guess I could have been throwing my weapons. Wow, there are a lot of you. Nice, level up. Is that all of you? Let's pause for a moment. You. Skills. Let me pull out my cheat sheet. Level 7 for our alchemist. It's going to be alchemy 3. I think we do have recipes that do require getting higher level alchemy. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. Next. I need to work on the Minotaur's accuracy. His accuracy is sorely lacking. Alright, any buttons here? That's what I need to keep an eye out for. Hello, book. Tome of Health. Health plus 25. Probably shouldn't waste that on my Minotaur who already has crazy health. 180. Probably you, because you're my other frontliner who will take the most hits. But you don't have a ton of health. There we go, 130. Still not 180 but should keep you going a bit longer. Leather gloves. You've got gloves already that are great. You've got light armor. You've got leather gloves. You don't have any gloves. Nope, keep the skull. Is that everything? Have I explored everywhere? 
Obviously not. Speed potion. You've got scattered random potions on a bunch of different people. Uh, I should make some more healing potions. You're down to two. You only have one. You only have one. So let's make a healing potion, give it to you to get you back to three. That'll get you to three. That'll get you to three, and you are only at two. Okay. Do you have... Yeah, you have a bunch of energy potions already. Okay. I think that's all good. So let's see. That spot is directly over this square. Is there any significance? Well, it definitely, theoretically, someone could fall down. If it opened up, but it would just get us here, so I don't see what that would gain us. I don't see any other buttons in here to press. So I think we already found the secrets we came here to find. Yeah. And then, hopefully we still know how to get out of here. <laughs> Grab that. And these. So we got out of here at some... How at some point. Probably a teleporter somewhere. Something shiny here. Good. So now let's go back to the crystal. Oh, we can mark that that's now resolved. Back to the crystal, which is this way, question mark. Hey, DS6101, welcome. Just trying to go back and resolve some of the puzzles I had left unsolved last time. Okay. I think that's all the major puzzles that we had left open. So. What is there left to do? I think we're ready to go back up here and try going to either the left or right. Ruins of Desarune, or we have a map on someone. Ruins of Desarune or the cemetery. Cemetery is another place we should have a teleport to, theoretically. So let's head back up here. And then down this way will get us into this other area. And then we're wanting to, I guess, go around here. And go north. Yeah. This way, maybe? And then we go through the Trial of Pain. Thankfully, we don't have to go back through it. Over to here. Alright, we are now back at the aisle that we don't know how to get to this central aisle. Which looks important, but... I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to the cemetery, actually.
Mostly so we can get another hub station unlocked, hopefully. Also, I think we were thinking that gate to the fifth shrine is hidden. No. Head towards sunrise beyond gate from Silent Head. This is the Silent Head. We were thinking there might be something of importance over here because of that. Oh, right. This is grim. Ooh, another level up. Perfect. Three more level ups. Come on over here. Oh, you were already dead. Okay. Barbarian for level seven. You've got heavy weapons three. Which just increases damage for you level seven is light weapons one okay so we are giving you light weapons hmm we're giving you light weapons yeah you're kind of bad at both dex and strength if i took off the cloak then Your strength would be a little higher, and then maybe it would be good to have the machete as your second weapon rather than the wand. I don't know. haven't made up my mind there. And then for you, level 7 is critical 1. What does that give me? Improves your chance of scoring a critical hit with melee ranged throwing or firearm attacks by 3% for each skill point. At third level, you can backstab an enemy with a dagger and tr deal triple damage. At fifth level, you can backstab any with light weapons. I was reading. Don't interrupt me. Uh, sure. We'll get critical on you. Now, let's get some light because it feels dark. There are a ton of these guys. So we've got another puzzle over there. We've got various tombstones, it looks like, that I'll want to read. I'm sure. Oh, hello, friend. Knowledge flourishes... Blah. Knowledge flourishes on the island. Decay and death have fed its growth. Knowledge... Flourishes... Decay and death... Bed, it's uh, growth. Sure, whatever that means. Okay, no obvious interactables on the bars. You're locked. Do I happen to have any more lockpicks? I do, in fact, have a lockpick. Ugh. Ammo? Well, that certainly wasn't worth it. Three unknown slaves were laid to rest here. Freedom at last. Is that something I'm supposed to interact with? 
Or is that just lore? I don't know. Also don't know if there's going to be buttons on any of these walls. Pummel faced the stonemason, born in the frozen tundras of the north, lived a long life and died on Nex. I want to say that this island is called Nex. Like if we go to loading, it shows we're in the Isle of Nex. So lived a long life and died on Nex. Feels like just lore about random people who are buried here. Uh, looks like I did miss a couple of spots I could have explored up there. Like we got most of it, but we didn't quite go into the corners. Pretty sure I was here because I did not read this one. Okay, Terrell Feltry, brought here by the ships from Northampton, a worthy servant to the master. Okay. Yeah. Those sound like they're just lore. The orders came and the gates closed. The answers were sealed in the archives. Orders came. Gates closed. Answers in the archives. Sure. Ganmon the Iron Will, a sage and engineer, may his towers never fall. Hmm. We got some sort of weapon in there, and I thought I saw a button next to it. I'm nervous to push that off of there, just to see what it does when I do. Not a button, a key. He that will presumably open this. Uh, locked needs E. A lever with a teleporter behind it. Looks like what three no just two spaces yeah so that'll be teleporter here so from somewhere else we need to teleport in and i guess that's this whole area explored Besides this puzzle, the puzzle being a generous term, I assume I just move it off. Or not. Huh. Okay, you win, game was not as easy as I thought. There might be a pattern I have to move that in or something. With the answers being in the archive. The orders came, the gates closed, the answers were sealed in the archives. Do we know where the archives might be? 
Sleet Island, Ruins, Cemetery. I was wondering if it was this area to the north, but it doesn't seem to be. No, I don't know where the archives would be, but we don't know how to get past. Yeah, we don't know how to get past this or this. We don't have the key we need for that. So is the cemetery just locked off to us right now until I learn more? Could be. Pretty sure I don't have whatever key that's looking for. All right, we'll hold off on the cemetery, I guess. No need for me to figure it out now. In that case, then we want to go out this way, which had a bridge from here that crossed up that way. There's another secret bridge somewhere. Oh yeah, what? Maybe I should read what this is saying. So there's the silent head. Maybe there's something over here I'm supposed to do something with. I don't know. But I could get over here easy enough by dropping through this water. Climb up here. Then I can make my way through this water to get over here. I don't really like the water, but it's fine. Let's go all the way up here and try and read what that message is again. Oh yeah, secret bridge here. Oh, someone is starving. Hey friend, can you not starve? That would be grand. Are the rest of them starving? You're a bit peckish. You are fine. You're a bit hungry. All right, so it's that statue I'm wanting to talk to. The silent one has a friend who is more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. There's the silent one. I don't remember seeing another face around here. Possibly even farther. Uh, where am I going? Shouldn't just drop into the water. Over there, I think. Climb up here, get some air. Then drop down here and climb up here. Yeah. Climb up that one. Please nothing get in my way. Okay, then we take this bridge up here. And that will take me to the new area. Yeah, we got another one of these teleporters that I don't know how to get into. Teleporter. Like, we've got a bunch of teleporters that clearly we get into them from somewhere else and then use the lever to open up a path. But I haven't found the other side of those teleporters. 
So, Ruins of Desarune. Oh, this just goes straight underground. Exciting. Wish the farmer character class had neat firearm perk synergy. Uh, farmer, from what I understand, is a very strange character class where they don't get experience from combat like everyone else, or maybe less experience, and instead they get experience from eating food. So you're basically just trying to shove all the food you get to them without, uh, with while still leaving enough for your party. And that takes knowing a lot more about the game than I do at my first playthrough. Meditation Spire. Meditation Spire. You've done a solo farmer on easy? That would make sense. Playing it solo, so then you can just give all the food to him comfortably. Okay, we've got a locked off area here with some sort of armor in there. I was hoping to spot a secret button, and I do not. Okay. Hello, you. I remember the fire elementals that we dealt with a lot in the previous game. We've got ourselves an ice elemental over here. Hi there. How long is that going to stay? I'm guessing. Nope, it is not permanent. Of course it's not. Do I want to follow that first? Or see where else things go? Let's see where else we go. Oh, I guess it's just downstairs. Well, before I forget... Button or bridge. Do I get damaged if I walk on those? Hopefully not, because it looks like I have to walk on them on that side. No. Okay. More ammo that I don't care about. I don't remember seeing that door. Was I just not paying attention? Huh. Still no enemies yet. It strikes me as very odd. Skyway. Okay. So we can make bridges by dropping things here. Is there a reason I wouldn't want all the bridges open? Probably gives enemies more maneuverability, which would be bad. Feels like that'd be a good thing to me for my maneuverability. Oh, that just duplicated while I was watching it. Okay, that's a door, not a wall. A 
no obvious way to open it. I'm hearing... Yeah, you guys. Hey there, friends. Come over here. I want to say hello. Ow. Keep expecting to see buttons on the walls. And there aren't any, but at least we finally found some enemies, so I don't feel as weirded out. Okay, we've got a lever to open this door. Some more zombies or mummies or whatever they are. Should have waited for them to be in that back corner. Because I could have just attacked them directly. That was the wrong spell. You. Fist dagger. That'll be for you almost certainly. I don't need the crossbow quarrels. This dagger, it is a dex weapon. Brilliant. So, 9 to 27 plus dex. I am pretty fast. Huh. Thrust special attack. Powerful lunge dealing double damage with high accuracy. I don't really use those specials, and I probably should be. Leeching life, I don't think I need much. He's rarely the most injured of the group. But a powerful lunge doing more damage probably is good. He's got energy to spare because I never use it. Okay, that's where we came from, so now we're going down here. Ladder going up, and a dead end. Dead ends always make me think there's something more to them. And they just branch off and then dead end. I'm hearing you guys wherever you are. Let's get some more light going. Grab some more food and put it in bags. I have been down here. Okay. So no reason to fall down there. It's hard to tell height on this 